While many armies have used 6x6 armoured personnel carriers, there is a clear trend towards the development and fielding of 8x8s. So what do those 8x8s give you? They give you more volume and more payload and usually more protection. This particular vehicle here has a long history. It was originally developed by the Steyr Company of Austria, which has now been taken over and is now called a General Dynamics European Land System Steyr. The 8B8 vehicle is the Panda 2, and that is already in service with Portugal and the Czech Republic. And what's been shown here is the infantry fighting vehicle version, which is still fully amphibious. You can see the uh, water jets at the back. And this is fitted with a two-person turret armed with a 30 mm Bushmaster cannon and a 7.62 coax machine gun. It's also got hunter-killer sights. You can see the one sight on the right side with the gunner and another one on the top right. The 30 mm Bushmaster was originally developed by ATK, which is now part of Northrop Grumman. So officially, it's a Northrop Grumman Armament Systems Division 30 mm Bushmaster Mark 44 dual feed cannon. And in addition to violent conventional nature of ammunition, more recent developments include an air burst ammunition. It's more expensive, but it's very good at, at engaging targets which are dug in. So this vehicle is obviously being offered to the local market through, through Pindad, who as we know have already developed and placed in production a 6x6 vehicle for the Indonesian Army at Anoa, and more recently the Badak fire support vehicle. So broadly speaking, compared to the 6x6 vehicle, this has more volume and more payload, which enables it to take on a wider range of roles. And in addition to being fitted with a 30mm cannon, it's quite possible to fit this with a 120 mortar or even a 105 turret mounted gun for use in the direct fire support role.